Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I just wanna see how much of a difference an antenna makes for getting channels on your TV. Now I did a video a while ago showing how many TV channels you can get for free using just a paper clip. Now you can just put a paper clip in the coaxial cable in the back of your TV and you can get some channels, but I was curious to see how many you actually can get with a traditional antenna. So the antenna I purchased is uh, from Amazon, it's an Antan brand or Anton brand, and it promises 35 to 45 miles of range support and offers a 16.5 foot coaxial cable. And now this is an indoor one, however, you can get an outdoor one that um, you could uh, stick on the outside of your house and that will get better uh, range, but this one is just an inside flat one that you can just uh, put right behind your TV. Uh, so this one currently costs $13.31 on sale right now, traditionally uh, looks like it's about $14 or $15. So let's go ahead and uh, check to see what we get. So in this video, basically what I wanna do is I wanna see how many channels you can get with no antenna, using a paperclip only, and then using an actual traditional antenna. Now, obviously my experience is not gonna be like yours. Uh, we all live in different places and uh, things can vary. So I'm in a more suburban area. You may be in a more rural area um, and you also may be in a place that has more trees and more things in the way that uh, may mess with interference. So uh, just take this as a simple experiment. I just wanna see what is better. I'm pretty sure we know that the antenna is going to be the best, but I just wanna see if there's really any difference between just using something that's free around your house versus actually buying something to use. All right, I do have an Amazon Fire TV, so we're gonna go ahead and go in and do a channel scan, and this is without anything attached to the TV at all. I just wanna see if we pick up anything here. All right, so it's telling me to please make sure your antenna is set up and plug it into the device. Hit next. All right, so our end result with no antenna, no paperclip is zero channels were found. So let's go ahead and try the paperclip and see what happens. All right, so here's our paperclip. All right, so I'm simply just going to extend this part out. I'm going to put this part inside the center of the coaxial cable input just like so. Now that we have the paper clip in, let's go ahead and rescan. All right, so after the scan with just the paper clip, we actually got a total of 17 channels. So let's check out the quality of those channels. Now, obviously with a paper clip, it's not going to get the greatest signal, but it is free. And as you can see, we have one channel here and we'll go ahead and just go through some of the different channels that we have here. And of course, with digital channels, you get a little bit more information uh, from them, including the time uh, and all that good stuff there. So we have three, four, and you can see some artifacting going on with this one, five, a little bit of artifacting going on with this one as well. Now, as you saw there, we had quite a few channels with artifacting going on. Um, now, I'm old school. I had an antenna when I was a kid, had just over-the-air channels, and one thing we did try is aluminum foil on our antenna. So I'm gonna try this on the paperclip and see if that improves the signal at all. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so now we have the aluminum foil on there. Let's see if the artifacting has been reduced at all. All right, so as you saw there, the artifacting was reduced by using aluminum foil on our paper clip in the back of the TV. Now, one other test I wanna do before we actually plug in the antenna is I wanna see if we get any additional channels on another scan with aluminum foil in addition to the paper clip. All right, so here we are gonna do a channel scan with aluminum foil on the paper clip. All right, so after a new scan with aluminum foil on the paperclip, we now have 25. So we went from 17 channels up to 25, and this is still using things around your house. All right, so we unpacked the antenna. So as you can see, it includes the antenna itself, three stickers and two thumbtacks. And what it says is to uh, put this on a window or a wall to get good reception, connect the antenna to the TV, and then of course we're going to um, do a scan. So find the best location to install your antenna, scan for channels on the TV. So let's go ahead and try it. I place the antenna right behind the TV and I have the cable plugged in at the back. 
All right, now that we have the real antenna connected, let's go ahead and do another channel scan and see if we get any additional channels. All right, so with that traditional antenna, we went from 25 up to 54 total channels. Now let's go ahead and check the quality of them. Now for good measure, I did want to try this experiment on another TV. Uh, this is an older Samsung TV that is not smart, so I wanted to go ahead and try out both the uh, paperclip and the antenna. So now we're on the paperclip, let's see how many channels we get. All right, so as you can see, we actually got a couple less. So on this TV, we only got 21 channels with the aluminum foil and the paperclip. Now let's check to see how well they work. Definitely see some artifacting on this one. So some of these don't work very well at so all. This time I put it by the window right here. And uh, obviously this is gonna get more channels, but I just wanna see if it gets a similar amount or more based on where we are, of course. And after our scan, we got a total of 75 channels. So we actually got quite a bit more than the other TV. Now let's go ahead and go through them and make sure that they all work really well. So we're gonna start at 4-1 four, four here. And now one thing I noticed on the other TV is that some of them had artifacting because they were further away. Um, a lot of these are local. Uh, to me here, but some are much further away um, in different cities. So as you can see, some of that is definitely going to show up here. So while it still detects the channel, it's going to be really bad and not look very good uh, because it's so far away. It's very possible that if you were to get an antenna that was outside, it might be able to get this, but there's probably a lot more interference because of how far it is away. This is a local here, local channel 12. Uh, 21 is not local to us. Uh, 33 is not local for us. Yeah, so as you can see, some of them just don't pop up at all. Signal is weak or no signal. So while it did detect some of these, some of them are just not coming through. So there you guys have it. Just a quick experiment. Just wanted to see how many channels you can get with a free thing that you can find around your house, such as a paperclip and aluminum foil versus buying an antenna. So um, you can definitely get some channels with a paperclip and uh, aluminum foil. If you have that around your house, if you wanted to watch something over the air, you can just simply get those two things, put them together, and there you go. You'll get some channels. Now, obviously, if you want to get more channels, you want channels outside of your area, definitely go ahead and buy an antenna. That's still a cheap option, and you still get free over-the-air content. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this little experiment video. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.